the one thing I would say for anyone, whether you're doing managing, leading at a corporate level or uh, even at a fir first line level, is to focus on your communication and understand what's necessary from uh, not only the uh, customers that you have, but also the people that you're managing or working with on a, a daily basis. You need to adjust your management and leadership style to them so that they're getting what's necessary, uh, more than just feeling comfortable with what you do naturally. You can go back thousands and thousands of years. Uh, you know, you can go, go back to the Bible and, and so forth and, and read about people that, whether they were call leaders or they weren't, it doesn't really matter. If people are following you, you essentially are, are a leader. And what you'll find is, is that the kind of behaviors that you've seen thousands of years ago, the ones that were successful and sustainable long term, are the same ones today. You want to focus on the people's strengths, figure out what they need, and then create the environment. Many people believe, uh, particularly managers or leaders, they believe that you can motivate people, and that's not true. You can't motivate individual. That's a personal decision, but you can create an environment that is motivating for them. Leaders can be made, but there are people that are born with uh, essentially a higher baseline of capacity. So you can create a great leader, uh, but you can create a leader that's incredibly great if they're born with some of the initial qualities. But there, I don't think there's any individual that cannot become a leader if you f uh, focus and stay um, persistent.